This is collisions uh, 2003 5B. Okay, and you can see that they're masses of M and 2M. Now make sure that's a common mistake. A smooth sphere of uh, sphere A of mass M moving with speed U collides with a smooth sphere B of mass 2M, which is at rest. Direction of motion of A before impact makes an angle with the line of centers where A is an acute angle. As a result of collision, the direction of A has to deflected through an angle of 90 degrees. The coefficient of restitution between two spheres is E. Show that tan alpha equals the square root of 2e minus 1 all over 3. So, once again, I'm going to break up the components of before and after. Okay, so what we have here is before and after. Okay, so that's before for A. B is not moving, so it doesn't have any components. So this is before, and this one here can be after. Now, before the collision, it's moving up with speed u. Break it up into components, it's going to be u cos alpha and u sin alpha. So, u sin alpha going upwards and u cos alpha going to the right. Okay, after the collision, what we can have here, oh sorry, once again, going, we're going to assume. I'd like to always assume that it's going up and to the right. So we're going to have u sine alpha is unaffected. Why is it unaffected? It's the J because it's the J component and the collision takes place along the y axis only. Okay? So u sine alpha remains unaffected. Call this one uh, V1. And then what do we know about particle B? The change in uh, momentum only takes it place along the y axis which means that after the collision uh, the, the two mass particle still has no uh, no velocity going upwards. It's going upwards at zero but it's going across at V2. We're next going to use PCM principle of conservation momentum along the uh, y axis M1 V1 plus M2 V2. Okay so look at this guys so we're going to have m times u cos alpha might as well leave it as u cos alpha m times 2m times 0 equals mv1 plus 2m times v2 okay and what we're going to get here is 2v2 v1 plus 2v2 equals u cos alpha and that represents the principle of conservation of momentum equation. Now, NEL, Newton's experimental law along the y axis, V1 minus V2 equals minus E into U, U1 minus U2. We're going to get this V1 minus V2 ends up to be minus E, and that's going to be U cos alpha. So minus E U cos alpha. Now we have two equations. We're going to multiply this equation by 2. So we're going to get 2v1 minus 2v2 equals minus 2eu cos alpha. Take down the red equation here, the PCM equation. And now directly underneath each other. And what we should get is a 3v1 ends up with the, uh, when we add them together, I'm going to factorize and add at the same time. So I'm going to get u cos alpha bracket 1 minus 2e. And then v1 ends up to be u cos alpha u cos alpha 1 minus 2e all over 3. Okay. Uh, I have a particular way of doing these. My particular way of doing these, I don't like substituting it back in. I actually think it's easier just to do the simultaneous equation out a second time. So I've already done, uh, I've already added them together. But this time, I am, uh, yeah, this time I'm going to use the original equation, which is here. And I'm going to multiply it by minus 1. Now you can substitute in or you can multiply by minus 1. I'm going to multiply this equation by minus 1. I'm going to get minus v1 plus v2 
equals eu cos alpha now i think it's much easier than substituting in and dealing with fractions and what i'm going to get is a uh, so i leave that there this time i'm going to get 3 v2 ends up to be u cos alpha into 1 plus e and therefore v2 is going to be u cos alpha uh, 1 plus e all over 3 how many marks in here okay and then what we see next is uh, we got to figure out show that what tan alpha is okay so we got to figure out what tan alpha is so after the collision we had we had the uh, two spheres like so and one of the spheres uh, came in at angle alpha and then after the collision it got sent off at 90 degrees this 90 degrees represents 90 minus alpha this 90 minus alpha is speed after the collision okay now this ta it's u sine alpha which is the the component that was unaffected and then to the left it's the v1 component so tan 90 minus alpha tan 90 minus alpha is u sine alpha divided by u cos alpha uh, 1 minus 2e all over 3 what can cancel out are the u's sine alpha over cos alpha turns into tan alpha So it's going to be, sorry, I'll rewrite that for a second. It's going to be sine alpha multiplied by 3 over u cos alpha 1 minus 2e. And now we're, we're going to get is 3 tan alpha. Yeah, it cancels you, sorry. 3 tan alpha over 1 minus 2e. Okay, and that equals. Uh, tan 90 minus alpha okay now I used a trick and if I remember correctly here's my trick okay can anybody tell me what tan 30 is in the calculator uh, one over root three, one over root three. Root three. what's tan 60 root 3 ah so 90 minus alpha means turn it upside down so you can change 90 minus alpha into alpha by just simply turning upside down if i want uh, sorry do you see the way if i said alpha was 30 yeah tan 30 equals 1 over root 3 but if i put it in to tan 90 minus alpha it turns upside down so I could, I'm well in my right to write this down. Tan alpha equals 1 minus 2e over 3 tan alpha. Now, you wouldn't be likely to spot something like that in a test. So we're just going to bash it out maybe a longer way. Now, what's tan 90 by the way? Undefined. So in fact, there is no way of, uh, we can't do a double angle. Sorry? Is that... The trick is tan 30 is 1 over root 3, tan 60 is root 3 over 1. So basically, if I ever say this, tan x is, I don't know, x over y, yeah? Then tan 90 minus x is going to be y over x, always. Did you get it? Trick. Okay, learn that trick off by heart. Now that that's done, we're going to just cross multiply and we get 3 tan squared alpha. Is 1 minus 2e, bring uh, 3 down and square root it. So we get minus 1 minus tan 2e over 3, and tan alpha equals 1 minus 2e over 3 square root it. Okay, 
So, what impulse means is impulse means the change of momentum. Impulse means MV minus MU. And you can put it in absolute brackets, like take the positive value. Okay, you can do that. Okay, now, for example, we're going to do it on the 2M part of it. So it's going to be 2M. Now, what was, uh, what was the second velocity again? U cross alpha. U1 plus E over 2. U cross alpha. 1 plus E all over 3. And then we're going to take away 2M times 0. It doesn't matter which one you do, because both of them should turn out the same. And what we're going to get is 2MU cos 2MU cos alpha 1 plus E all over 3. And that has to equal what? It has to equal the magnitude MU cos alpha. And look, cos alpha, M and U cancel. And what this means is 2 over 3 1 plus e equals 1. 2 plus 2e equals 3. 2e therefore equals 1. e therefore equals a half. Now, if you calculate the impulse using particle A instead of particle B, you still get the same answer. Okay, it doesn't make a difference. Okay.